Hello, great people. All right, for us to make our cake box, you need to know the length and breadth of your cake. So I'll be making a box for these cakes and I want to know how wide these cakes are. So and the width gives me about nine inches plus. The breadth gives, gave me about four inches. So I leave some allowance. You don't want the box to be too tight on the cake. So you have to leave some space. If the cake is exactly three inches wide, you need to add a bit of one inch or thereabout. So but for my, for my cake, it's four inches. So I have nine inches by four inches. So we can say it's just length or breadth or um, in any way you decide to um, do it so horizontally it's nine inches vertically it's four inches if you understand it that way okay so that's that on the base of the now i just measured the sorry about the camera i measured the height of the cake and the height is just um at, with some allowance i left so it's just about six inches in height so i have my cardboard which um, you can call it chipboard you can call it white um, cardboard but this cardboard is strong so i'll be measuring the base then the side so the first thing i measure here is the height so you need to measure the height from the edge of the cardboard so you know where to start folding so I'm measuring from about six inches um, just at certain points so that I can have a straight line there. So you measure the six, six, six till you reach a length that is like nine inches um, plus. It's not just nine inches. So here, let me say horizontally now. Horizontally, you need to measure the height, the base plus the height height plus base plus height which means six inches plus nine inches plus six inches so that's what you need to measure horizontally the same thing actually applies vertically depending on what your measurement is so but it won't be the same it won't be nine you understand the base at that time will be um four it won't be nine horizontally is going to be height six inches base nine inches height six inches so vertically when you're measuring is going to be height of six inches base of four inches height of six inches do you understand so height plus base plus height horizontally and vertically that's how you measure so i will start my measurement again six inches again from here the six inches you have to measure it such that is um you have enough space on your cardboard. Now, I'm telling you how I measure in pieces. I've measured the first six inches. From the six inches, now I measured nine inches, which is the base horizontally. So I'll measure another six inches from there. So if you had everything together using your calculator, when you say six plus nine plus six, all together you get the figure which is 21 21 inches so if you don't want to uh, measure in bit at first you can start straight and say okay 21 by just then you measure 21 uh, horizontally then vertically is going to be 6 plus 4 plus 6 which is 16 so the old cardboard i'll cut out is 21 by 16 but I had already indicated all the six inches, which are the height, the side of the board. So anyways, to understand, just cut out 21 by 16 inches on your cardboard. So when you cut that out, then you start to measure six inches all around. And then you link the lines. Now I'm going to trace the lines 
of the 21 by 16 so that I can cut out um, this board. Because I've indicated all the six inches I need to indicate. Sorry, you may not be able to see the pencil points where I indicated that. So I just want to link all the lines now and going to um, draw a line. We are cutting is 21 by 16. So please, you need to first cut that out. When you cut it out, then you can indicate all the side where you're going to fold. That is the height. So when I'm done cutting this, remember I've already indicated the height from the side when I was pointing with the pen where the, where the six inches height is. So now I'll get to that and show you how I'll fold. Now we're at the stage where we're going to score the height all around this cardboard. Remember, it's 21 by 16. So at every 6, 6 inches around this board, we're going to score it using something sharp, not, not that it's able to cut your cardboard, but something a bit sharp like scissors to score or the back of the knife. So when you put your um, ruler, then you press hard so that you can score it properly. So if your measurement isn't intact yet, you can go in again with the measurements. So I place the ruler again and um, I'm scoring again with the scissors, with the side of the scissors, not the sharp side. If you use any sharp side, yeah, it's going to cut your cardboard. So we're We'll score the, the side, both six, six inches. So we have the widest part in the middle now. We're going to score uh, the shortest part now. Remember this one is now, we're scoring for the longest part, which we leave the middle at four inches wide. If you follow exactly what I said about scoring at six inches round, your cardboard then you get the same thing i'm doing so it means that you're going to place your ruler at six inches around your cardboard to get exactly what i'm doing and this applies for any kind of thing you are working on any kind of board sorry you're working on depending on the size At this stage, you can clean all the pencil marks on the cardboard. You clean them away. So they will fold properly. All the sides are 9 inches in height. So we can now cut from the right place. So when you want to cut at this stage, you make sure you cut in the same way. If you're cutting horizontally on the same line, cut on the same line. But if you're cutting vertically, you cut. You see, the way I cut now, I'm going to cut exactly opposite of what I cut now. That's what I mean. So, and if you want to do it, do the cutting the other way. You can do it the other way. Just make sure your cutting is just um, facing each other like this so that we can fold our box in this way. We have excess, but, um, excess of the size, so I'm going to cut that off. This excess is because this is a custom box. So we have um, this completely normal to have this excess. You can just um, indicate or let me say point out the side and the side of the excess and cut it off. Okay, so I will do this for the other side.
So at this point, what we need to do is cut out a rectangular shape from the middle of the folded side. Like you see this widest side, I just um, cut out a rectangular shape from there so I can place a transparent film on that place. So your transparent film is just a normal PVC, you know, this, the transparent white um, PVC. So you can use what you cut out as a guide. But don't cut exact <laughs> exact of that just make sure you have excess when you're cutting out you leave excess for you to be able to glue the pvc to the box so i'm placing it right there i'm making sure that on all the side there is excess so i'm going to mark the places i'll cut with ruler you can see I've left excess on the side, so the ruler is going to be a guide for me when I'm cutting this PVC off. You can use your craft knife or any sharp object or a small knife to cut out the PVC using your ruler, holding your ruler firm to the um, table. So don't let the knife get to your hand. Be careful with this. So I'm going to cut the other side so we can get this out. And when this is done, I'll be placing it on the box. all right so here i'm going to place the pvc you see what i mean when i say you need to cut excess of that card so that the pvc can overlay on the edge now i'm using wool gum on the edges of this cardboard if you don't have exactly this kind of wool gum you can use any other paper craft gum as much as it can stick your pvc nylon to the um card then it's okay so i'll stick that although you probably need to allow that to dry a bit before you stick another but anyways i've placed that already okay so the box is just about ready um for this kind of box you need either glue or um, stapler but the cheapest is stapler you can just use your stapler to hold it together so you can hold one side staple it then your cake can come in through the other side you can use glue gun on the edges of this box before you close it up it's okay so i i've just used stapler on the edges so I've stapled it twice. So my cake will be coming in from the other side of this box. Yes, before I close it up completely. And you can start to also close it up, then put anything you want to put inside. So as we're done with this, we're going to go quickly to the cover. We definitely need a cover for this box, so let me show you how we do that.
for the cover it's very easy you just need to know what is the base of your board remember the base of our board is about nine inches wide and um, four inches in breadth like length is nine inches breadth is four inches so for the nine and four inches um, side we need to give allowance that is able to cover up on the side so in case you don't understand what I'm measuring, I'm putting one inch allowance on that around this, um, this number. So remember our formula, height plus breadth plus height, height plus, like height plus base plus height. So whatever, maybe it's length or breadth. So if we're talking about length, say height plus length plus height, that would be one inch since we want to use one inch as the side of the cover one inch plus nine inches plus one inch so the breadth will be one inch plus four inches plus don't use just four inches in fact you probably need to use four inches and half at this point cover needs a little more allowance so sometimes people add allowance in points so four inches, one inch plus four inch plus one inch. Don't make it exactly four inch because when you put something in the box, the box tends to move around and change shape. So you probably want to do four and a half or four point something, then one inch. So if you calculate all that together, that will tell you the total circumference. That if it's a circle, I would use that word. Is it perimeter? Okay, whatever it is. It's going to tell you the total size of what you need to cut out from this um, box. I do all my little, little measurements before I cut out the whole thing. So that's what I'm doing. I've been, that's what I've been doing. So, but let's calculate. If it is height plus length plus height, that is one inch plus nine plus one, that is 11 inches altogether in length. If we're going to put any allowance, if we put half, so let's just say it's 11 inches and half. The half will be with the nine. You get it? It will be one plus nine, nine and a half plus one. So now the breadth, the breadth will be one plus four and a half plus one. You get that? So that's what I'm doing. But I guess half will be too much. I didn't actually put half, you know, but it was, um, it squeezed a bit because of the PVC. So I will advise some points, add some points, not half, half will be too big actually. Sorry, <laughs> am I going back and forth? Okay, you know what? Half will be too big. Add some points to your measurement. It won't be up to inch or it won't be up to an half inch. So what I'm folding right now is, uh, is the one inch that is supposed or that is added on the side. As one inch, I'm folding the side. Then I'm going to fold the other side too. You fold at one inch. The same thing you do on the box, which is you fold the height around the rectangle or the square, whatever you have in total. You fold the height. So I've just folded the height. I'm going to cut that. So I'm checking it on the box. I'm going to cut that and fold it properly. So you can score this with your knife and ruler, you know. And you can just fold. It's easier to fold the um, cover, right? So you can do this method too to make it stand well. Okay, so. That's how we do our box. I hope you understand the mathematics behind this. You can send us email if you don't understand or you have any issues on any part of the lesson. We'll be glad to answer you. And just note that this uh, box method or this um, formula can be used for any kind of box, any type of box. It's just basic height plus length. That's the length of the base plus height. Then height plus the breadth of the base plus height. That's just it. So I'm cutting so that we can fold properly. 
So after cutting, for this you can use glue gun to hold the cover to put it together. It's not, um, this doesn't really require you use stapler. Just your glue gun is okay to hold it together. And we're done. So if you have any sticker like I do, you can place it to beautify the box. Okay, thank you so much for coming on this course. <laughs> I'll just show you how I um, put this on the box, cover it up, and um, well, arrange the cakes inside. So that's just it. That's it about the box making. I just hope you'll be able to just try your hand on something. And um, even if you don't know exactly what to do, you exactly, use exactly my own measurements and uh, you'll be fine. Okay, have fun practicing and thank you for coming on the um, course.